<laughs> so can you uh, tell us your full name, please? It's Lynn Hassinger. Hassinger. Ask you. So when did you attend Susquehanna? 1949. I graduated 53 to 57. Um, so what brought you to the harvest today? Did, uh, did, did somebody call you? I live up the hill, so I'm down here often. <laughs> um, so uh, w this is obviously a sweatshirt. Do you want to hold it up for us? Um, <laughs> so uh, what, what, did you get this from like the, uh, from the, did we have a bookstore back then? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was in the building that burned down. Which building was that? Um, it was by uh, so, uh, GA. GA. Yeah, it was by Seeland Grove Hall, right? Um, or right across from here, really? It, it was between um, Seeland Grove, Grove and, and Belgrave. And okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what year did you get this from? What year? Yeah, like, or, uh, roughly. Who, who knows? <laughs> it, it was. I mean, it was when I was here, and I was probably about 1952, or 50, 54, maybe. I don't know when I got it. Now, when you say you got it from the building that burned down, was it in the building? Bookstore. Oh, the bookstore. Okay. That's where the bookstore was in those days, okay. as well as the um, snack bar. Okay. And like a, a campus center was in the middle, and then it was men's residence halls upstairs. Was it a popular place to hang out in Susquehanna? Well, it was the only place, really, as far as, I mean, the snack bar. And there were always people in there playing pinochle <laughs> in those <laughs> days. <laughs> did, uh, did all of the sweatshirts have the Crusader symbol Oh, I don't know. Like, did that, that, would have, that was the only thing that I remember. But I don't know that they all had it. No, all of them, like, it, it was a very common uh, oh, yeah. symbol. Because we don't really have those anymore, uh, actually. I know you don't. <laughs> yeah, especially, yes, especially since we changed the name and all. Well, and I uh, thought about cutting it up and making a pillow out of it, but I never got around to it. How long ago was that? And then I, I thought about making a <laughs> pillow? Oh, 20 years, probably. <laughs> it just went to the back burner. Um, let's see. Uh, so why did you decide to rain to the harvest today? Uh, did you, it was a, or why did you actually decide to keep it for so long? Because it was in the back of the closet somewhere. <laughs> so you kind of just forgot about it for a little bit. No, I didn't forget about it. I knew it was there, but I, I just hadn't done anything with it. Well, same. I would never do anything either. <laughs> um, so do you have any other? Um, like I know you didn't bring anything else to do with us to, with you today, but did you have any other uh, things you kept from the glory days? Well, you know, one thing I didn't think about is I have a little ring. I, I couldn't afford to buy a, a class ring when I was in school. But they had some that were like silver and about yay wide, and they had the the uh, emblem on. And it's, I forgot about that. Mm. Do you know where it is? Yeah, probably. It's in, probably in the jewelry box. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, uh, do you have any like, uh, stories from Susquehanna? Or? Well, I was a commuter. I was oh, a day okay. student. And the day student room my freshman year was in the basement of Hassinger. Um, and so I rode the bus through Sunbury for whatever, quarter, 10 cents. Um, and then you'd get off down at um, I, High Street maybe and walk up. And then I found people who, you know, that I could get a ride, so. But then, my senior year, I got it down that I was only taking 12 credits. And you paid by the credit then, 16 bucks a credit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so I had enough saved um, that I was able to live on campus that year and with my scholarship. And my, my scholarship was secretary to the Dean of Women. So that her office was in, in GA. Um, so I was kind of right in the middle of the campus most of the time. Uh, what year did GA burn down? I wasn't here. Was it's it in the 60s? Well, the class of 66 is celebrating their 50th, and they were here when it burned down. So oh, okay. September 26, 
I didn't really knew how it burned down. Like, I heard a building burned down, but I, I never knew, like, what was the reason. It was an electrical fire on the basement. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go back and read Don Housley's book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or around somebody from the class of 66 that he's doing today. I, I yeah, I'll second. definitely. I'm pretty and sure it'll come up in conversation. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and Dr. Zimmer, who was head of education, was a local fireman. And I think mm -hmm. I remember seeing a picture of him going up, oh, okay. up a ladder um, to, because he was on duty. Right, right. That's very cool. So have you always lived around Susquehanna? I grew up in Sunbury. Graduated from here and left for 50 years. Where'd you go? And, oh, how much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I went to New Jersey. I went to Ohio. And then I had a job in, in Philadelphia, Allentown back to New Jersey. Sounds nice. So it, that's where you've that's where you've been? Yeah. And then back here? Yeah. I have one sister. She lives in Northumberland. Um, mm -hmm. and I was coming back here for all kinds of things anyhow. So when it was time to move, because my rent in New Jersey more than doubled, <laughs> I decided it was time to come back. And they were building those houses up there. What do you do for what did you do for work? whatever. I started as a teacher and then I did that I, and I was a major that we don't have anymore. What was it? Business education. Oh. So I taught typing, shorthand, business law and all that stuff and kind of got the itch and I, the, the place where I taught in New Jersey, well where are you from? I'm from New York so. I'm from New Jersey. Where? Um, Hunterdon County. Oh okay, I lived in Manville. Okay. Home of all the asbestos problems. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John's man built the plant. Oh, no, okay. Um, but before that, I mean, when I went down there, I lived on Long Beach Island. We vacation there every summer. Do you? Where do you vacation? Mm -hmm. In Brighton Beach, right next to Beach Haven. Yeah, yeah. Well, I lived in Beach Haven mm -hmm. um, for three years. Wow. Uh, it was really, I mean, those were the days when traffic was not like it is now. Mm -hmm. I it was, it. Yeah. Um, and then I was teaching, the school where I was went out, it, it was going to be a 12-month school, right? In 1957, that was unheard of. And we had this superintendent who was far-reaching. So they went out and recruited people from all over the country. Uh, and I don't know how many states we had represented at that point, but um, I was saying, you know, I had the itch, it was time to think about something. I was tired of teaching shorthand and typing ASDF space, I mean, okay, Jay, you don't even know that anymore, probably. Um, and people said, why don't you go over to Penn, because they were going to grad school, and take a course at the School of Business at the Wharton, and then you can use their placement service forever. I thought that sounded like a good deal. So I did, and that lady said, Oh, uh, the th I went to the education placement first, and that was like all of them, you know, six interviews, do all this running, da da da. So then I went to this business school to Wharton, and that lady said, "Hmm, just got this in, and you might be interested." Assistant to the director of admissions at Western College for Women in Oxford, Ohio. I'd never heard of Western College, mm -hmm. but I knew that Miami of Ohio was in Oxford and had a friend who was there working on a master's degree. So I applied and got a call. I was home for spring break or something. And could I come out? Okay, well, to try to get there from here was like trying to fly to the moon <laughs> in 1957. Or when would that have been? 60. Um, so my dad said, because you had to fly into Columbus, rent a car, and in those days, I'd never rented a car. Mm -hmm. Or go into Cincinnati, which was the airports in Kentucky, and rent a car. So my dad said, come on, we'll drive. So, and I was always so glad that we did that because then he knew where I was. And, mm -hmm. and they, so they offered me the job, and I took it. And my boss was a wonderful lady. She, um, filled the refrigerator. She found me an apartment and then filled the refrigerator by the time I got there. <laughs> so it was, it was really a neat place. And I'm still in touch with some, uh, with a, at least one couple from Southern Regional 
um, and I'm still in touch with some people from, from Oxford. But then I got to know people on the dean staff and they said, well, why don't you be a, an assistant freshman advisor? Then you'll get your room and board. I said, no, no, thanks. I want to do the degree, get it over with, and then we'll talk. <coughs> I said, maybe you'll need a freshman advisor, not an assistant. And that was what happened. I mean, I, I did the degree in a, in a year in the summer, and then they needed the freshman advisor, so I did that. Uh, and then had a chance to move to Temple in Philadelphia. So, and that was to do recruiting for the intern teaching program. So, did that. And that was a friend, the guy who was in charge of intern teaching. He says, all this recording, you got a lot to X out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's really interesting. Well, the guy who was um, head of the, director of the intern teaching program was somebody I had taught with in New Jersey at Southern Regional. So, I, I got to see the country and let somebody else pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the life. Yeah, I hope I get an opportunity well, to go to different places. You, yeah. I want to travel the world and, not, and get paid for it. <laughs> well, get yourself a job as a, you know, whatever Teacher that. admissions. Well, <laughs> but whatever. You know, I don't know if you know Abby, what's her last name? Um, she's back. She just did, you don't happen to be Lutheran, do you? <laughs> well, the Lutherans have a program, Young Adults in Global Ministry, and she just spent a year in South Africa. Um, and we we have three alums, we had four alums, but <clears throat> one died, three in, in uh, Namibia, and I sent them a message this past week and said, we're no longer the Crusaders, we're now the River Hawks. And I got a message back from the first kid who had been here saying, I'll always be a crusader. <laughs> it was Robert. <laughs> and I would send them new t-shirts if it weren't so expensive to mm -hmm. intermail. In <clears throat> yeah. So, okay. but, you know, then it was just, my, my parents' philosophy was you go where the job is. And they could never say anything because in 1918, my dad, who grew up in Northumberland, went out to Detroit because the Ford Motor Company was going strong. And there were a lot of people from Norrie who went to Detroit to work at the Ford Motor Company. My mother was a milliner, and after she learned her trade, she worked in millinery shops and would go to, uh, what they did was send their people to Philadelphia to get the new styles for the next season. So she did that. And then she, she grew up in Sunbury, but she, moved around 